Hello Python programmers. So in this video, I'm going to show you that how you can create a telegram bot using Python. Now this telegram bot will help you automate your replies. So first of all, let's see that what is the system requirement or what are the external packages that you need to install for this project. So you need only one package, which is called uh, Python telegram uh, bot. So press enter and this package will be installed for you. Now for me, this package is already installed. So let's quickly jump to our editor so that we can start writing our code. Okay, so before we write our code, what we need to do is we need to first of all open telegram Now you can do that in your cell phone also and what you need to do is you need to search bot father Okay, so search for bot father. You'll get a bunch of um, Profiles here what you need to do is you need to select this one. It is having a verified symbol here. So click on this one click start here and what you need to do is you need to click on new bot Okay if you're creating a new bot okay so all right a new bot how we are going to call it choose a name for the bot okay so let's say that we want to choose uh, I know Python okay uh, it is I know Python okay good now let's choose a username for the bot it must be end like a uh, bot okay so I know Python bot okay Okay, so done. Congratulations. Your new bot is uh, is created with this name. Okay, and this is the API key for your bot. Okay, so we need to copy this because we'll be using this in our code. Okay, so let me minimize this and let's get back to our code. So first of all, we'll import our telegram uh, bot package. Okay, so we have imported both our telegram and telegram.ext. This ext one is having a lot of handler and all. We'll see all this as we move on with the code. So then we'll create a bot variable. Okay, so we'll create a bot variable which will initiate our bot. Okay, so just write this bot keyword and paste your API key here. Then let's check whether our bot is working or not so we'll simply write bot dot get me uh, get me so let's run our program and it's taking a bit of time i know python is bot okay so yeah it is running and our bot is live so let me comment this out now let's create an updater variable. Now this updater variable will update whatever we do uh, with our bot. Okay. Okay. So as we can see that this updater uh, method will accept two parameters. The first is uh, the API key and the second is the context. Now the use context is default for two for the updated version for the before version you can write false here okay so we are using the newer version this is why we are writing true here okay then we'll create a dispatcher variable this dispatcher variable will basically dispatch this update to our telegram bot okay so here you can see we are applying this update to our dispatcher okay so we are saying that it is updated and then dispatch it okay now let's create a start um, value variable and in this variable we'll store uh, the text or the command for which we want a specific reply let's say that if the user asks for a uh, let's say motion detection so i want to reply it with the motion detection video link so so we need to specify for which command we want which reply so here we'll specify that what command or what keyword we want to set for a specific reply right 
okay so now we have specified so this command handler will accept two parameters first is the command and the second is the function in which the reply will be stored so let's create that function now it will have two parameter first is the update keyword and the context okay so now we'll use bot dot send message so the bot is the object of this bot class and then send message is the function inside and it accepts multiple parameter but we'll specify only two first is the chat id which is pretty important one and then we'll specify the text that we want to display to the user let's say that i want to display this video link okay now the send message function is done let's update our dispatcher so that the update is sent using this dispatcher class okay so here you can see that in this dispatcher we have said that okay so we have added a handler which is this motion detection command okay now we'll use our updater dot start polling so that our program start running it should be start polling so that our program checks for upcoming messages okay so let's save this and let's run our program okay so history repeats itself i'm getting an error uh, update is not defined okay okay so it should be capital u here okay so now let's go to our uh, bot is this bot started and let's pass our command which was uh, motion detection right uh, where is that keyword yeah this is it let's copy this and uh, paste it here let's run our program so here you can see the the bot replies with the link now we can add multiple commands here so let me add another uh, another command here so what we'll do is we'll copy the same thing here and we'll simply paste it here okay so instead of test function we'll write test function one everything will be same only uh, this message will be different it, uh, it will be let's say uh, hello g and the keyword is let's say um, hello Okay, so we also need to change the variable names. So uh, one and start value for one. Okay, it should be test function one. So make sure that we are not uh, leaving any variable unchanged. Um, okay, 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 okay. Everything looks fine. Um, okay, so let's save this and let's try so let's do one thing let's uh, let's keep this at the end so that we can know when the program uh, is functioning so let's keep it there let's save this and let's run our program okay so it's running uh, let's check with our uh, bot so uh, if we write hello it should reply hello g uh, but it's not replying okay so let's go back and uh, uh okay so we are getting an error we are getting an error um uh, what is that error uh chat id okay so uh, yeah we cannot change the variable name here uh because its parameters are, uh, are predefined so we cannot change them uh let's save and let's run our program again okay so we'll write hello again okay so hello g is the reply so here you can see this was i guess the shortest method of how you can create a telegram bot using python now here you can see you can add multiple things here and actually this uh, python telegram bot is a very detailed library and it has a lot of things but as you know this channel's motto is to create the shortest and the most impressive project so this was a short project if you want me to create a more detailed project in this library then you can just comment down below and if i get enough comments then maybe i'll create a detailed video creating a more complex project okay so 
this is it for this video and i'll meet you in my next lecture where we'll create something more awesome okay so meet you there bye bye